Suzuka 8 Hours is a motorcycle racing arcade game released by Namco in 1992 based on the racing event of the same name. It runs upon Namco System 2 hardware, and allows players to race against up to seven CPU-controlled opponents on the Suzuka circuit, with a preset time limit. Like the real-life event, the original arcade game prominently features Coca-Cola as a sponsor, so as a result the game's full name is Coca-Cola Suzuka 8 Hours. In recent years, the race has been called the Coke Zero Suzuka 8 Hours to promote a beverage in the company's line. A sequel, Suzuka 8 Hours 2 Suzuka 2, Suzuka 8 Owazu was released in 1993. In both the United States of America and Japan, it added three new tracks the Green Hill Circuit, the Bayside Raceway, and the Devil's Canyon Circuit. As the first game's original track the Suzuka circuit is in this game as well. Gameplay The game was made available in two player cabinets featuring two monitors and two replica motorcycles. Players accelerate their bikes by holding down the throttle grip and brake by using the brake lever, while steering is accomplished by physically leaning the bike left or right. The arcade game can be played by up to eight players simultaneously by linking four two-player cabinets together, and the players must complete an entire lap of the track within a preset time limit, and upon completion of a lap, the time is extended for all players in the race. The first player to complete a preset number of laps between three and six and adjustable by the arcade operator wins the race, as in Final Lap and Dirt Fox the latter of which was only released in Japan. If they manage to finish the race in less than a preset time, they will have the opportunity to enter their initials upon the game's best time, as opposed to high score table. Topic. SNES version Suzuka 8 Hours was later ported to the SNES, in 1993 by Arc System Works. The game simulates the actual 8 hour race as 8 virtual hours, or over 90 real time minutes. The object is to complete as many laps as possible before the time runs out, and if it does, the timer starts going up again as penalty time and the next trip to the finish line ends the race. Upon reviewing this version, GamePro criticized the absence of sound from CPU competitors' engines and the distracting music, however, they praised the responsive controls and sharp graphics. 